Hello YouTube, my name is Farlan and this is Manuel and, and welcome, welcome to, to another, another video of Lifestyles and Sneakers. Today we're going to be doing a detailed review of these sneakers. These are called the Nike Dunks collaboration with Off-White or the Off-White X Off -white Dunks. Dunks. Yes, in the Michigan colorway. Let's so go. Sneak around. So guys, as you can see, we are holding this uh, Nike Off-White Dunks in the Michigan colorway. This is actually part of a three colorway release yeah. that was released um, last December. It, the, the other colorways that they have is the UNLV colorway and the other one, I can't, University, I can't, uh, I can't remember the school, the green and white. But anyway, this is the Michigan colorway. and. For me, this is the best one. That's why this is the one that I got because uh, it's more well. I don't know. For me, it's more wearable. I'm not sure if you feel the same. I think the red and gray is more wearable. The red and gray. Uh, okay. But for me, yeah, I like loud colors. I like. I like the Michigan color actually. Uh -huh. So that's why I, I I chose to to get this one. And I think this is apart from the. Of white 10 collection i think this is one of the best that they've released because the recent ones that they they released they're not really that great they they're actually there's some because of the silhouettes yeah i think this is a a classic and like a, a classic silhouette and everyone can relate to yes to this uh sneaker here yes the dunks actually this is like together with the air force ones and the jordan ones yeah. these are the three actually the the trio of uh, classic sneakers from Nike uh, for for streetwear for streetwear yes yes so now let's start with the materials of this Nike off-white dunks so the upper is made out of this premium leather and navy blue and uh, yellow. university yellow I think if I'm not mistaken so if you touch it if you feel it it's really really soft really really premium premium material however the the, the only problem with that mm -hmm. if you have premium material is that it easily creases as you can see i've worn this already because the leather is soft it's very soft so yeah it creases right away that's the problem with this one so yeah um apart from those uh of course you have the off-white uh signature which is this uh exterior mm -hmm. shoelaces and with the shoelaces in quotation mark what i like about these is that they have this sort of like a wax or a rubber tip yeah, it was dipped in wax or rubber yes yes and, and then you have the off-white text yeah over here so it's side. written uh, off-white for nike nike dunk low beaverton oregon 1985 so yeah because the original dunks was made in 1985 and then the orange tag orange tag of of white over here and of course this uh zip tie. zip tie which i haven't taken out yet this is i think the only white zip tie oh. if i'm not mistaken this is the only white zip tie of off white normally it's red then they have the felt green and then they had the what, what other color ways they have i think the white this is the only white one. Oh, and then the your midsole outsole is your typical the uh, typical nike dunk yeah, Nike Dunk, or it actually looks like the Jordan one. Yeah, it's, it looks like Jordan. Jordan one and Air Force one, right? Yeah, looks they the all same. have the same traction pattern. Yes. But anyway, this is not an SB shoe, right? It's not an SB shoe. So uh, the paddings is unlike unlike the SB. Yeah. Thing. So Either the SB Dunks are more heavily padded. Yeah, that, especially on the tongue and the ankle area because yeah. it's uh, for skate for skateboarding. Anyway, the tongue here is not your typical dunk. Uh, dunk. Tongue. It's your yeah, typical, typical. off-white tongue. Uh, so you exposed. have, yeah. So the tongue is made out of the same premium leather. Then you have an exposed foam mm -hmm. here, right here, just like any other off-white. And then you the have Nike the Nike tie. branding here. Yeah. So anyway, what can you say about this shoe? Well, I, I, I do. This is my first uh, dunk uh -huh. ever, so I haven't. Uh, had a so chance to a good, a good choice a good, for your first dunk. yeah for first dunk so uh, i wanted to have a dunk because um to be honest 
amongst all the three classics, this is the one that I really like the most. The silhouette that I really like mm -hmm. the most, the dunks. More than the Jordan one and more than the Jordan one, one and the Air Force one. I like the the, the, the silhouette, yes. the silhouette of the dunks. Yes. However, this is not the most comfortable one. Mm -hmm. I must say because uh, this one is like. Yeah, because the dunks are like they have uh, really really thick, uh, very stiff, stiff. midsole mid outsole so, yeah. because they have no air, mm -hmm. like the Jordan one and the Air Force one. Yeah, this one is like so, pure rubber. Yeah, and it's really really stiff. So it's when you're walking, stiff. it's it's not that comfortable, especially if you you got used to um, softer, the softer, softer shoes. sneakers. And if you you got used to Jordan, mm -hmm. yeah, Jordan one, it's not the same as Jordan one. It's more uh, stiff, like uh, what uh, Froilan said. So yeah, this one actually, I think this is the new um, branding of uh, of white, right? This yellow and uh, this branding, because even on the the shoe, I mean the paper, the tissue uh -huh. paper, it's also the same. Uh, apart, the the ones that was released after the the pen, it, mm. it's always like this. Wow. Yeah, I think this is until... Uh, That's a new branding. One thing that I noticed that, uh, on these is that, look at the back of the the insole. insole. It's, it's like similar the to the outsole traction, outsole traction part. Yes, yes, yes. So oh. that's a good touch for the Nike Dunk. Dunks, right? So yeah, this one actually retailed for, I can't remember how much was this one retailed. I think it's only 130, mm. if I'm not mistaken. Correct me guys if I'm wrong, but uh, I know for a fact that the retail, the resale price of these already went up to 500, 600 US dollars for this one. And I'm sure this one will only go higher. Mm. I th and, and amongst all the three that was released, the three color race, I think this one is the cheapest one. On resale. On resale on StockX. Mm -hmm. This is the cheapest one. The most expensive one is the red. Because probably, like what you said, it's a more most wearable mm -hmm. one. The green one is the second. And then this one is the least uh, it has the, more exp more, uh, uh, least yeah, expensive. Least, least uh, re resale price. Yeah, this off white box. No. One thing that. Um, I'm missing with, with this off-white dunk is that since it's a classic, right? Mm -hmm. Normally, uh, off-white will have extra laces mm -hmm. on, on the classics. But I figured out that the reason why they added extra colored laces on the pen mm -hmm. because it's only color, the color is not yeah, that, it's, it's also white, white or black. Almost, yeah. It's only white, apart from the Jordan, the Jordan 1. It's only white Almost and black. everything is white. Yeah, and this one is too colorful already. So if they add, it doesn't make any sense if they add more extra laces because I think the laces that they have, this navy uh, laces and this uh, neon orange laces uh, is enough, enough to, to make this shoe or these sneakers pop out. Yeah. So do you like this particular part? Honestly, aesthetic wise, mm -hmm. yes, I do like them. However, uh, for functionality, it doesn't really serve any purpose. Yeah, it's just uh, for, for it's the look. just for the look, and it's it's kind of because since it's a rope lace, it easily get untied. Mm. It easily get untied, so it's more of a hassle for me. Yeah, but it makes the look, the shoe really pops. Yeah, yeah. it's really unique. Yeah, it really it's looks unique. unique, and people will really look at you when you're wearing these. Like, oh, what is that? Right, and then you won't really see uh, a lot of people wearing these. Only a few. Uh, when you go out to the malls and all these things, you only see a few people wearing these. Yeah. So uh, I like where um, Off White is heading now. Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't like the first, the initial three that they released: the Terra Tiger, the Waffle, and there's another one, Vapor Street. I didn't like those three mm -hmm. because it almost looked the same. Yeah, they almost look the same. The colorways are also the same. So, plus I don't like the spikes in the bottom. I uh, think there's a theme for that, for those sneakers. So now I like it that they're doing the dunks, the classics, and then their, the upcoming one is the Jordan 5. Uh, how do you feel about the Jordan 5? I don't like it. You don't like it? The one with the hole. Yeah, the one with the hole, yeah. 
Uh, I actually dig it. Uh, I like the colorway actually. I like the colorway. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed our uh, detailed review on these sneakers. I hope you like this video and if you do, please press the thumbs up button down below. And if, if you, you haven't, haven't subscribed, subscribed to our channel, now is the right time because we have ongoing giveaways. We have two actually. The first one, we're giving away up to four Yeezy 380 Aliens. And the second one is we're giving away up to 400 US dollars or 20,000 pesos worth of sneaker shopping. All you need to do is check out the mechanics down below for the details. Okay. Please read the description box, follow every instruction. And make sure to follow us on our Facebook account, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, TikTok. Again, my name is Froilan. And this is Manuel. Until next Until time. Until next time.